Yo, what's good out there guys? It's real easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna be going over three really, really cool glitches that you guys could take advantage of today in GTA 5 online. Uh, after the recent patch of 1.43, these are all still working 100%. We have a mega launch glitch, probably the biggest launch glitch you'll ever see. Uh, we got a trolling glitch and we also have an awesome glitch for crates, okay? It's more like an exploit, I would say, but if you're like me and you like actually running crates still, you know, even though I do glitches, I still run crates for the fun of it. That's how I made the majority of my money in the very beginning. Uh, you know, this you will benefit off of this, trust me. And I need to build up the money in my CEO office. So if you guys are ever in sessions and you see me running crates, reason is I'm trying to build up the stacks of cash that are laying around in the CEO office. So what this glitch is really useful is for like, okay, so say say you guys buy two, maybe three crates at a time, which is what I usually do. I like to speed it up. One at a time is the cheapest, but it takes forever, especially with that five minute cooldown. So what this little exploit will allow you to do is to actually hide the crates so that, you know, you got griefers. If you got griefers in that public session that, you know, that are basically going to grief you, you know, you can avoid them. OK, you might not be able to avoid them 100 percent of the time, but it's much better than nothing. And this is for those missions where you have crates lying around, you know, because sometimes you might just have to collect the truck. But uh, yeah, so this is what you want to do while you're making your way towards the crates. You know, it's going to be a bunch of crates lying around. Request your Avenger when you're close. OK, so you saw that. I know this mission. I know that there's going to be three crates in the water. I requested my Avenger and my Avenger is really, really close right over there offshore. OK, uh, now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start collecting these crates. Now, let me just collect one at a time. For those of you that don't know, yeah, you can just literally glide the buzzard right down and pick this up. Be very careful with this, though, because, uh, you know, you have a really high chance of actually getting caught in the water and in that wave and then your helicopter screwed. OK, so once I've collected one of the crates, I'm going to I'm going to, you know, fly straight to my Avenger and I'm going to go through the back. Now that I'm in there, I'm going to go ahead and press right D pad here on the weapon workshop and you'll actually hear that you'll drop the crate and you'll see it right there. OK, so now I have one crate sitting there and now check this out. I'm pausing just to show you. But look where it says the crate is actually located. It says it's all the way over at Mount Chiliad. Now, for those of you that don't understand why that works that way is because the Avenger and the interior is actually all located under the map. OK, the actual construction of it is located under the map and it's over there at Mount Chiliad. All right. Same thing with the facility. The bunker is over at the docks. That's just how it is. OK, so now I collected a second crate. I'm bringing the second crate right back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up to the weapon workshop, press right D pad and then back out of the menu. And you see that now I have two dropped right there. So now if I open up my map and I show you guys this, I'm going to have two crates that are located over at Mount Chiliad. And that's what people in the session are going to see. All right. They're not going to see that there's two crates in your Avenger where you are right now. They're going to see the crates over at Mount Chiliad. So it will throw off some griefers, maybe some guys and hydras and stuff. OK, now I collected the third crate and I just simply went into the cockpit and I flew. OK, I think it's much easier to just fly over there. If you want to try to put all three in the back, you can. But as you can see right there, I just delivered the first one on foot that I already had. Now I'm going to go back into the Avenger and I'm going to take one of those crates that's sitting there, delivered it. Now I'm going to just walk back into the Avenger and take the third crate. OK, and you see how easy that is. Obviously, it's not as quick as this because I fast forwarded the hell out of this. But yeah, that's how you would do it. OK, a really cool exploit. Really awesome. Shout out to the founder, whoever you are. You know, let me know if you're watching this. But yeah, and that's a really cool way on how to hide your crates if you do have an Avenger. All right. Take advantage of that. It's a really, really cool exploit for you guys that grind out uh, crates still. Now, second glitch. This one is how to get orbital cannon strikes for free. OK, 100 percent for free. Now, obviously, you need a facility with the orbital cannon. So go ahead and go up to your orbital cannon and press right D pad. And what I would do is and this works on PlayStation and Xbox. We are not closing our app. All right. Do not close the app. What we're doing is actually connecting or disconnecting, I should say, and then reconnecting. So go to your network settings on either PlayStation or Xbox and get ready to just disconnect. All right. So right now I'm going to go ahead and press right D pad. And if you look at the top right, you see my money. Just remember nine, three, five, four, four, six, if you want to. OK, if you want, you can just reverse back to the this part of the video if you really want to check. But I promise you, I will not lose any money. So you can select manual or automatic targeting. Doesn't really matter. Now, I'm just going to look for somebody that I will target that's just out in the open just to screw with. Uh, you know, shout out to uh, Evan right here, P Evan, you know, for uh, for unwillingly being in my video, but you are my target for the video. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick automatic targeting, select that person, go ahead and hold right trigger or R2, and the shot goes off. You see at the bottom left, I did take that person out. I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the internet as fast as I can. Okay, now the internet's disconnected. I can go ahead and reconnect it now. You should get an alert like this and it's gonna kick you back to story mode, okay? This is how you get around. Other people are actually closing the entire app. You don't need to do that. So all I did right there is press pause, go to Start GT Online and go into an invite only session just to prove you guys that I still have all the money. And check it out, 935446 at the very end. I have all of my money just like I had before. Nothing was taken out, perfectly fine, okay? Now, lastly, probably what you guys are most excited about, which was in the beginning of the video in that intro, is this mega launch glitch. Probably the biggest launch glitch we have still working in GTA Online now. Uh, what you wanna do is go ahead and go to this location if you don't own one of these trucks, okay? I think they're called the barracks. But you wanna go ahead and just take one. And it's actually pretty easy to just grab one from here because the location we're going to is right down the road. All right, so now there used to be an old uh, launch glitch where we used to actually park over here in the grass on the right hand side, but that one is really inconsistent. This one is much, much easier, okay? So what you wanna do is take this truck and you wanna park it exactly how you're gonna see me park it right here. Okay, so it's like a little bit angled and you want that the front bumper to be kind of touching the right hand side where the, you know, where kind of that like brick wall is, okay? So, and make sure the left tire is pretty much that distance, all right? That's why I'm just backing up real quick so you can see the exact location or the exact way I parked this truck. All right, I'm just gonna go around it so you see exactly how I parked it. If you want the optimal success and the best chance of hitting this, park it exactly like you see me, you know, parking it right here. Now. What you wanna do, once you've done that, go ahead and just take out a pistol. I don't really think it matters what you took out. I took out the revolver, the golden revolver we got, the red dead one. And go ahead and just aim and then fall down to this tire. And then you wanna go ahead and let go of the left trigger to stop aiming. Now, the name of the game is you wanna go ahead and start actually moving by yourself to the left, all right? You'll see the guy start moving a little bit. Now, right there, if you see your guy not moving at all, then you're gonna reposition. So you see I'm just holding left trigger and then repositioning. I'm not really moving. I notice if you're standing right above the tire, it's not really gonna work. Your left foot needs to be more along that little tan line right there, you know, that, that like rim of the actual tire, all right, that's holding it in, all right, that bracket. There we go. So you see right there? Now listen very carefully. You're gonna hear this noise just start rising and rising and rising, and if you're lucky, you will start moving just like this very slowly. And in a few seconds, you will just pop straight up, just like that. Look at this launch glitch, guys. Definitely one of the highest launch glitches that still exists in GTA 5 Online to this day. All right, there are not many. Rockstar did patch up a lot of them. For some reason, they don't like these glitches, but this one still works 100% just did this today and i was really happy about it because i used to do the old one uh that was right across the street and it didn't really work that well but i'm gonna show you me hitting it back to back once you have a good location you're good to go so you see look i'm gonna let my guy just stand right there and you're gonna see you see how he's just slightly moving all right slightly moving and now that noise is going up and up and up all right it's getting louder and louder and louder all right so if he's not really moving though and he stops moving you can actually adjust him a little bit it's all up to you all right, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and adjust him just a tad bit over here because I notice he's not moving. The sound is loud, but there we go. Now I just shifted him and you saw that? He moved by himself and got launched back up into the air. It's consistent that you will, you know, hit this if you position it correctly and you will fly crazy high. Like that's Richard's Majestic right there. I literally launched higher than Richard's Majestic uh, hotel right there, okay? Or apartments, I should say. But yeah, this is a hell of a launch glitch. I'm just showing you more and more clips of me doing this. This is all just today. I got these clips in probably 10, 15 minutes. Just look at that, all right? You can do this in a few ways. Like if you wanna just wait, most likely you will always hear that sound. Position your feet like you see me positioning my feet. And if you notice when we fall down, we don't lose any health. That's the great thing about launch glitches. You just fall and you're good to go. But uh, yeah, so on some of these, you will notice that you won't move. Just slightly adjust your guy. Make sure your left foot is sitting on that bracket, that tan bracket right there, and you'll notice the sound start going up. If you're not sliding over very, you know, very slightly, then just give your guy a little bit of a, of a push. Now look, my guy's sliding the opposite way. I still hear the noise, but every time I move, he's sliding the opposite way. Check this out. I'm actually gonna walk, just simply walk towards that little, you know, muffler stack right there. And look, just little, I'm just tapping the left stick. Just tap the left stick, tap the left stick. And so, uh, yeah, right here, you're actually gonna see it. There we go, okay? 
So that's pretty much it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out guys.